All right, so before we actually get into this video, I do want to say a couple of things that I actually recorded this uh, on March 10th for one and I'm doing this little introduction to let you guys know that I'm sorry for our not uploading in a while and that this part came a lot later than I wanted it to. I had to do a lot of editing in the thumbnail and in the layout and whatnot and there was also fire red to finish and then I was gone for a whole weekend. So yeah. That is why this is uploaded so late. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into this video. Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Diamond12 here. And yes, we are playing Pokemon Prism right now. And uh, yeah, I cannot wait to actually get right into this game. Because this game, for what I've played from the little bit... Um, we're going to start a new game here. Um, it's great. This game is amazing. It, you know, I mean... It's like... Probably the, the best ROM hack that I have seen so far. I mean, I don't know what the rest of the the whole hack is going to be, but it looks really, really good. And today is not January. It is March. March 2017, yes. Um, and it's the 10th, yes. I'm actually recording this before I upload the final uh, parts of Fire Red because I really wanted to play this game. I just wanted to get into this game. Just enjoy it. Play as much as possible because I think this will be a game that I really would like um, to play a lot of. In any case, it's like right uh, like day two, I think. Does that count? Yeah, it's like day a, and then 2 p.m. That's pretty much it. Uh, minutes. Oh, how many minutes? Uh, we'll do to zero there because it's kind of like that in any case as you can see we set the date and the time on this and if you don't know what Pokemon Prism is let me just explain because it is um, from what I have played from what I have seen obviously it's a Pokemon Crystal hack and you um, it's a completely different story and uh, there's completely new characters, and um, like a lot of the newer Pokémon are in the game as well. So we're not only gonna find like up to Gen 2 Pokémon, no, we're gonna find things like um, Ralts, um, even Gen 6 Pokémon as well. I don't think there is Gen 7 Pokémon, but I could be wrong. But I don't think so. But yeah, in any case, um, there's also a physical special plate. It's basically it's basically a modern Pokemon game, but with like an old school look, if that makes any sense. In any case, greetings. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. I am, well, <laughs> that doesn't matter. Anyway, this world is inhabited by creatures that we call Pokemon. That's a Larvidar. That's a pretty cool Pokemon. People and Pokemon live and support each other. Some people play with Pokemon. Some people study them. Others even battle their Pokemon and strive to be champions. I'm also gonna not speed up anything in this uh, playthrough because I want to just have a full experience of this game, uh, completely new. And I'm also gonna take my time uh, in this playthrough, I'm gonna just talk uh, to as many people as I can and just enjoy the game. That's basically what I'm gonna do. Um, and hopefully you guys will enjoy it with me. Anyway, this is Red. Hailing from Palatown in the Kanto region, he successfully became the region's Pokemon champ, while also taking down the corrupt Team Rocket. Ah, that's cool. I mean, technically, that was us in the last Nuzlocke, maybe? I guess you could see it as that? I don't know. Also a young trainer, he left home from New Park in Johto and worked his way to the top, challenging many tough and troublesome foes along the way. Alright, so basically, I think what they're doing is they're explaining these two characters um, because they probably will appear later in the game, but I'm not completely sure about that because, once again, I haven't played and uh, I haven't played the game much at all. I uh, played like 10 minutes of it, maybe even less than that, and I already liked it so much that I, want, I really wanted to do a blind playthrough of it. But you, you too are destined for greatness. Why not tell me a little bit? bit about yourself all right so this is one of the craziest thing about this game you can completely well almost completely customize your characters but there's so much character customization there's more custom character customization in this game than Pokemon Sun and Moon 
So that is kind of crazy. So you can choose any of these base models. Um, I don't know what I would go with. I could go with like a land style, but I don't know. I think I'm just going to go with model 1 because I think that's my favorite one. I could also go with a girl, but I'm a boy. So I'm just going to I'm just going to choose the boy. Uh, what is my skin tone? I I guess do, do I even want to make it like my like myself or do I want to make it someone different? I think this is too light. This works perfectly fine. Look at that. So and here you can completely change your color outfit. You can also do a custom color and basically make your own. Um, but I think I really like the red one. So I'm gonna go with the fire brick color. Yes, this is the look I want. Finally, could you please tell me your name? Um, my name... Uh, should I do my real name? I'm just gonna do my YouTube username this time. I don't know what... I don't actually remember what I did. Actually, no, I did my real name in my last uh, playthrough. But let's just go with my username. Um, I'm gonna go with Dynaman. Dynaman, are you ready? Your very own Pokemon story is about to unfold. You'll never... You'll... You'll never? No, you'll face fun times and tough challenges. There was no never in that. <laughs> A world of dreams and adventures await with Pokemon. Let's go. I'm sure I'll see you later. Well, maybe so. I don't know who that is talking. Um, he said, or she said, that she was going to see us later. I don't know who that was. But, eh. In any case, apparently we are here with, I think this is our mom? in the game. It's so beautiful here, isn't it? I'm glad we could have a relaxing time together. I'm sorry you had to deal with your father moving on. No child wants to go through that. Dynaman, your father has always been a great man. And while he's had many fans, you're still his biggest. I know you want to follow in his footsteps. But promise me, no matter where you go in life, never forget about your dear mother. Thanks for coming with me, Dynaman. Alright, so... Is, does that mean that our father is dead or something? I do not know, but there is not really... This tree can be cut. Random lone tree right there. Uh, we can't take... Oh, we can walk over this. That's kind of crazy. Looks hot. Better not touch. Ah, what are you talking about? It's perfectly fine to touch. In any case, we're gonna go out um, and see what happens. Oh! Oh, heading out for a walk? Could you try get some firewood for us? The fire will need some, so uh, some soon to um, keep us nice and warm. I think I read that wrong, but any case, <laughs> and the dynamon, just be safe. All right, we'll, we'll try, we'll try. So, you know, I have played this beginning bit, so I know what is going to happen. So, we walk through here and, oh, what is that? What is this? Looks like our path is blocked. Hmm. That's not, that's not nice, so we can, like, look around what is over here. There is some stuff over here. Um, there's a cave. Uh, I forgot you, you to, uh, to tell you can actually run in this game, so, yeah. Well, the running speed does look kind of goofy, because it's pretty much the same as the walking speed, but basically sped up, but honestly, it doesn't really matter. So here we are inside a cave, it looks like. Some sort of a cave, I don't know. Um, who? There's a shady looking guy here. Hey kid, are you lost? Your campsite is up north? The pad was blocked by a landslide? Well, you're in luck. This guard will take you right back there. Hmm. Doesn't uh, sound fishy at all, right? Into the minecart? Oh! Oh, that, that doesn't sound good. Oh! Well, um, this is not where we were supposed to go. Minecart is broken! Oh, fantastic! So, looks like we're in some kind of ice cave now. What was it called? Aqua... What was it called? I don't... It doesn't say the name. Um, we don't have a town map either, so I can't tell. Uh, in any case, doesn't really matter. We uh, got a Pokemon here. It's a Larvitar. This Larvitar is blocking you. It looks lonely. Maybe it wants to tag along. Want to bring it along with you? Oh, hell yes! Odd, the Larvidar is holding a Pokeball. 
Dynamite put Larvitar into Pokeball. Alright, so we got a Larvitar just like that. That is kind of crazy. Um, do I want to give it a nickname? Hmm. I guess I'm going to give it a nickname, but it's a, it's a lot uh, nicer if we do that, I guess. I have no idea what to name you, man. Um, I'm gonna name you Wrath. I don't know why. It just comes to mind. We got Wrath the Larvitar. Um, can we check here the rest of the stats, maybe? Oh, here we go. It's Cratch and Leer. Um, can we not check its like nature or stuff? Uh, it, it does guts, or wait, does it have guts? Likes to fight. Let's type rock and ground. I guess they don't have natures in this game then, but honestly, who needs natures? Like, <laughs> you don't really need natures to be honest. I mean, it has guts, it has abilities, so that's good. So yeah, we got Wrath of Larvitar here, and uh, that's Scratch and Leer, which is not really the greatest right now. But, we actually have a Pokemon, and, um, you know, if the game does not have natures, then I actually consider that a good thing. Because, natures are kind of lame, to be honest, anyways. Anyways, we got a Shinx here, man, that's kind of cool. Um, but, a little fun fact, um, I have played through this whole cave, and you actually can't get any encounters in this cave um, you can actually can't catch any Pokemon in this cave because you don't get Pokeballs after you're outside of the cave and you can't go back into the cave so I, I really wanted to get a Shinx because I do really like Luxray but hey I guess you can't have them all right so let's just keep on going keep on moving here in this ice cave I do love the music in this game. They actually have custom music, as you can probably tell uh, from some of the wild battles that we have in here. And it's pretty good music as well. Uh, some music is in the same in the overworld, but honestly, I don't really mind. I just use teleport. Okay, goodbye, Abra. Goodbye, Abra. There's Abra's here as well, man. That's actually kind of powerful, I'm not gonna lie. And we got ourselves a potion. That's nice. Is there anything back here? I keep forgetting I can actually run. It's so good. It's actually so good. I can run already. Oh, what is this? We got another Larvitar over here. And... Okay. Larvitar fled. Now, this is actually something really cool about this game as well. So, we're gonna talk to this... Um, well, we're gonna just enter this thing with Wrath. And now we're cont controlling Wrath here. We're controlling our own Pokémon. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy! And he just breaks... He just breaks the rocks like that! That's kind of wild! That's kind of wild. You can even encounter Pokémon! Like, isn't that like the coolest thing? I think it's cool. I think it's pretty cool. And I'm sure that there will be a lot more... Um, things like this in the game. You know, where you can actually control your Pokémon. I think it's a really cool idea. I don't think you can actually replace Larvitar. Maybe you can. I don't know, I've never actually tried. But why would you want to replace a Larvitar for anything, man? It's a freaking Larvitar. It's gonna evolve into a Tyranitar, which is just powerful. Way too powerful. I'm just gonna kill these um, Pokemon just for some experience. I'll probably cut wild battles out later on. When they're getting a little bit repetitive. So, yeah. Because I'm not going to speed up anything. <laughs> to be honest, I don't even know what the speed bu up button is on this emulator. Because I'm using a completely different emulator. Alright, let's keep on going here. Break this rock, and here's the auto lower with her. Oh, hello. The Pokemon talk. The Pokemon talk, guys. They talk to each other. That's so cool. I'm sorry I ran away just now. I'm really shy. If you keep your trainer away, I'll give you a gift as thanks. 
and we got a soft sand. This game even has a little bit of a mystery dungeon feel to it because, you know, you can control your Pokemon, talk to other Pokemon. It's kind of cool. I guess you should hide it somewhere else for now. It looks like this, this uh, Larvitar is actually uh, afraid of the trainer of us, so... Yeah. Guess we can only have one Larvitar at a time. I don't want two anyways. In any case, um... Well, it's too heavy to move. Oh, I think I forgot to do something. I forgot to press a button. Any and there we go. There are all this. Um, did I not? I thought I pressed the button here, but... Something like something moved. Yep. Okay, there we go. The boulder. Now, should be gone. Okay. Oh, we got another encounter. Obviously, you can get Zubats in here. I mean, wouldn't be a cave if there were no Zubats in here. Ouch. Do I not resist bug? Oh, that cry is kind of uh, hurting my ears a bit. <laughs> not gonna lie there. In any case, oh, I don't, I don't want to go to options. Actually, is this on fast? Yes, it is on fast. Okay, uh, that's good. Oh, I can't get to my items from here. I have to use my trainer. Makes sense because only the trainer has items, of course. But yeah, we got now a soft sand on our Larvitar, so whenever we get a ground type move, that's definitely gonna get powered up. So we just took a huge fall down, and now we're here. What ho and what ho! A fellow traveler, would you like me to share one of my treasures? Yeah, sure! It's a berry, or an orange berry specific. Pokemon love to eat these things. Alright, that's cool. That'll be pretty useful. Attaching berry to your Pokemon can help you during a battle. Using one won't even waste a turn. That is right. We are here in Caper City, so our first town slash city. That's pretty cool. I don't recognize you at all. So, where did you come from? Hmm. Huh, I've never heard of it. Where do? Where did we come from? We don't even know. Oh, a new face. What brings you to Caper City? What? You fell down the hole in the mines? I need to put a letter there. Yes, you probably should. Don't know why there is no letter there to begin with. Hello, lady. Can I go here? I'm shoveling snow right now. When I'm done, it should be safe to go past. Alright, alright, cool. In any case, here we got a Pokemon Center, so we kind of waste the potion, but... In any case, I'll gladly restore my power points. Thank you for waiting. Pokemon centers are great. They heal your Pokemon in no time at all. That is true. I wish I could meet... I wish I could meet Professor Ilk. He's always busy with his work. So that is there a professor in this game, I'm assuming? Is there anything in RPC? Like a freebie, maybe? Like a potion? Nope. Nope. There's absolutely nothing. Good to know. Good to know, I say. Anyways, let's keep going right there, since we can't go up. We can't exactly go back into the mines. Alright, so I'm assuming this is the lab. We got uh, Professor Elk here, I think. Hmm, yes. Yes, that makes sense. I should have a book about knowledge of lore somewhere. So, yeah, that's actually something I forgot to mention. Apparently, um... This is, like, not the first hack these guys have created. Um, whoever created this um, hack, I don't remember the name. Um, and there are some references in this game about the first hack, but I haven't really played the first hack. So, I think it was Pokemon Brown. Um, so, yeah, I haven't really played that. So, there might be some references that I don't get, and I'm sorry for that. Um, but apparently, there are are two regions in this game as well, which one region is where you actually go back to the region in the previous game. Um, I think, I'm assuming, because I know there's two regions. What, what, what is it? 
Who are you? Who am I? Why, I am Professor Ilk. I'm the region's leading Pokemon researcher. Oh, that's my Larvitar. I couldn't find it anywhere. Strange, Larvitar seems to be very fond of you. I hate to ask, but could you do me a favor? Please check on my brother. He isn't answering his phone, so I'm worried. He lives north of the city on Route 69. Okay, bring my Larvitar with you just to be safe. I will, don't you worry. Don't you worry, I'll definitely, uh, I'll definitely keep this Larvitar around. Um, but yeah, in any case, I guess we can keep on going. I just want to play more of this game, man. That's all I want. Nothing really exciting has happened, uh, anyways. Actually, what am I saying? Like, a lot of exciting things. Why am I healing my Pokemon again, by the way? <laughs> what? There was no reason for that. But, yeah. Lots of exciting stuff has happened. Like, we countered a Larvitar. We went through a minecart. This game is crazy so far. Professor Elk lives in this town. That man is a Pokemon genius. Not only is he a referred Pokemon professor, he's also a famed historian. Well, that's cool. Alright, so this is Route 70, actually. So we're going downwards or something? I don't know. Oh, Hat Village is up and Caper City is cool. It's down. That's pretty cool. No pun intended, because we're in a snowy area. <laughs> Man, this snow is really deep. If you walk and hold the B button, you might be able to actually run faster through it. Does look like it. Alright. So we found two repels. So that's actually something different about this game. Well, you can actually find multiple um, multiple of the same item if you pick up an item on the wild, which is pretty cool. In any case, let's see what we can find over here. It's a Sentret. Well, we're almost level 6, so let's just get the experience. This is one problem. Since Larvitar does take a while to level up, he is going to take a while to train up. But it should be fine. Should be fine, I hope. I mean, this is not a Nuzlocke, so... Don't really have to worry about, like, too much trouble. Alright, let's keep on going. What do you have to say? See that tunnel to the right there? It leads to re right region. You gotta have a region pass to get past the guard, or so I've heard. So we're, I think we're in Naljo right now then, so and region is, like, if you go over here. But I have a feeling I'm not even able to go over here, because there's a tunnel here. Um, there's no Pokemon in it. It's just a long tunnel. S can we go here? Oh, that's cool. You can actually like, climb up stuff. Wow, that's really cool. Okay. Hello. I can't let you through without a Raijan Pass. Come back when you have one. Yeah, I don't have that. Which I'm assuming is gonna be after game. But this is really cool though, the climbing up and down. That's really cool because you can't... Like, you're just climbing up and down. That's... Because you can't get off of here because you're climbing. That's... That's really cool. We've never actually like seen that in a Pokemon game, I don't think. Actually climbing. And the only ways... Through the big ass tunnel we go again. And back into Route 70 right here. What does this sign say? Route 69 ahead. Alright. Ooh, this guy's gonna stop us. <laughs> Whoa there! <laughs> I can't look through, sorry. There's a hole about the house up ahead by some young punk. I've already called someone else to send a backup. Wait, Professor Ilk said you to help? Well, I hope he knows what he's doing. Look, I have to stand here 24-7, ever since crime went up. It can be a real drag. Oh, sorry about complaining there. Anyway, I see you don't have a map. So, just take one. I don't feel like filling a missing person's report today. And we got ourselves a map. Well, thank you, sir. The house just up ahead is where the commotion is. I bet you will be able to handle it. Well, let's just go ahead and check it out then. Maybe we are, maybe we're not. Here at Route 69. 
course, it had to be Route 69. In any case, looks like... Uh, oh, there's an item here. A potion? We take those. Uh, we don't quite yet, go, so we can't cut through there. Um, but yeah, looks. I think we're looking good right here. I mean, we are a level higher. Uh, we have lost a little bit of health. I think I'm gonna give the Ornberry the rat, because we don't really have a ground type move yet. So if we get low health, like the the Ornberry can kick in anyway. So let's get in here. Uh, finally, the, the cops are here. Wait, you, you're just a kid. The cops aren't here. What were you? What were they thinking? Oh, Professor Ilk sent you to help. Well then, I see that guy in the back. Then he broke in and he's trying to take my poor bacon. A bacon? Can I have it? Can I have a bacon? Please? That would be fantastic. Like I'd, I'd rather trade my Larvitar for a bacon, even though Larvitar is pretty cool as well. But please help. What are you doing to that bacon? That bacon sprite is kind of weird looking. Not gonna lie. But then again, you know this is second gen graphics, so what do you expect? You know? <laughs> You're mine now, unless you want to get hurt. What do you want, you little brat? You're not going to get in my way. I don't know if that I'm gonna keep his voice like that because I do not. This is gonna be a rival, and I do not know what I want to name him. But in any case, obviously gonna use the Bagon. Um, and we have the Larvitar. I am levels higher than you, sir. You know what? I'm gonna use Leer. You're gonna use Leer as well? How dare you? Well, let's just go up for Scratch. Oh, you have Rage? That's gotta be not very effective. So sorry for that, man. Look at that. Damage. Rage is gonna do a lot more damage, though, now. Maybe I should've gone for another layer. I should be able to live one more, and then kill him off. Uh, there we go. So sorry I had to take you down, Bagon. It does hurt me, but it had to be done. <laughs> it seems like this Pokemon could use some training. Hello, make it stronger, by any means necessary. You're so naff. Time to exit. I got just what I needed from this old fart. Ciao. Use an escape rope. Alright. I saw the whole thing. Wow. You sure put up a good fight. Did he tell you his name? Um. Okay. What am I gonna name my rival? Oh, I know what I'm gonna name him. This is gonna be, um, David's evil twin brother. It's gonna be Divad. Here we go, Divad. Yeah, Divad is our rival. Divad, huh? That Lovatar you battled with. I think it belonged to my brother. Oh, you met him already? Oh, he asked you to check up on me? Oh, that was nice of him. <laughs> Don't forget to return his Lovatar. He really loves that Pokemon. Yeah, that is not happening, I'm sorry. That's my Lovatar now. I'm sorry. But yeah. Oh, there's an item there. Can I get that? Can I get that item? No, I need Surf. Alright, I see. Well, in any case, I think that is a good part to end off this episode. Next time, we are gonna return to the Professor and see what awaits us there. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this first episode of Pokemon Prism. And I'm really enjoying this game. And yeah, next time, we're gonna do more stuff. Thanks for watching.